what I'm going to go through is I'm going to go through a very short definition of vibration, what it's about and what you can find with it, and then get into our live demo doing a, uh, a demonstration of our onboard visualization tools and then going into some of the more in-depth analysis tools that we have around. And finally, I'll give you a little bit of information about our approved training offering. So, vibration. The definition of vibration is oscillation about an equilibrium point. And what we have in this uh, animation is a way of talking about some of the common terms. So here we have a simple mass spring system that everyone I'm sure is familiar with. Uh, the displacement is measured from the equilibrium point, so that's the middle. The displacement here is plotted as x, uh, and then time on the x-axis, so our uh, displacement x varies with time. And what we can see is that as the displacement varies with time, then so does the velocity. But the velocity is changing uh, out of phase with the time, because if you think about the speed of the spring, it's going at its maximum speed as it goes through the equilibrium point. And then also you have the acceleration, which is uh, going in the opposite direction to the displacement. So when the displacement is at one extreme, the acceleration is at its maximum, pulling the, the mass back in the other direction. And what we have is this whole cycle between kinetic energy and potential energy, the potential energy in the spring, the kinetic energy from the movement of the mass. And these oscillate between one another, providing a vibration. Now we use what's called simple harmonic motion as the simplification for vibration. And that means we can look at the vibration as a whole set of discrete, discrete frequencies. Um, so what we see in real life is a much more complicated uh, um, waveform. But what we can generally say is that we have a, a force and we have a response. And actually in real life, we'll have lots of forces at different frequencies due to different effects on the machines. Uh, and then we get a response, which is partly uh, due to the mach machine rotor, partly due to the uh, foundation it's built on, and all sorts of other stiffnesses and damping factors within there. 